you it. Do it. Do it. Jesse, do it. Do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good climber. Not don't think he's too quick. Okay. But he's done. A, he's I, done his fair share on the Italian circuit, so he's a hard man. Yeah, he is. He knows a circuit race. Yeah. <laughs> I think if if there's lots of attacks in the next three point five, I still think Kel being one of the attacking over the top of someone mightn't be a bad option if O'Brien might. O'Brien's probably not going to be able to ride him in the whole way. So that, I mean, I don't think so. It, would you that? attack if you're Harper again? Oh, Harper's not here. Sorry. The um, who's the Durbridge, does he attack again think, to try and set something up? I think anyone that's not Kel O'Brien has to try and try yeah. and do something because you know guys like Scotty Bowden, Jesse Ewart, you just got just got to try and see because unless they're unless they're happy to just maybe ride in and and try and get a podium, which is you know a massive result for guys like that. So that's actually you know something else they could be thinking of, maybe just not going for the win. Durbridge is back to this bit bike exchange kind of looking back on the race and what they could have done. Durbridge being here in the finale shows how good a Nicky is in. Yeah, big time. Do you reckon he put the 55 on like Miles did a few yeah. years ago just to wind it up on the downhill into town? <laughs> but this is what we're going to see from now on. They have there's Except for Kel and Nick White, they have to throw it down. Yeah. But the good thing here... Oh, oh wait, Jesus. Hey, I... Marco's got to get back now to be able to keep things welded together. I was just about to say, just... that, cra that crash doesn't change anything, but uh, it's a ride from O'Brien. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. Nick White, he's starting to get nervous now. Yeah. He's starting to get nervous. I think I think he wants Marco O'Brien back too because this is where... Does Debridge go? Does Debridge go? Scotty one of, Gordon, he's one of them has to go. I don't know what happened. They have to. Is Cam, Cam Myers there too? So... Bike Exchange now have two guys. There yeah, goes, Jesse you guys, Ewart, Ewart, yeah. Ewart just attacked. Kel was, Kel was worried about Cam Meyer. He went back to look at him. That's a regulation right-hander as well, just quietly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was surprised to see that. Uh, Durbridge attacking. Yeah. This is working out so well for Inform, Nick White having to close it down. Yeah. Also, like Pat Lane said, Cam Meyer in these situations, he, he knows he knows the perfect time to go, and I'll be a little bit way. But yeah, here comes Marco, which is which is perfect for for Kel and, and and also White, who who's looking a little bit twitchy in there. Kel's countering to the left. He's gone. Okay. No one's re he's trying to respond. Ah, it's ballsy, isn't it's it? Ballsy. It's super ballsy. Especially with Turbo, because she yeah, got to yeah. stop now. I mean, just some, just anything like that, you know, that that takes a massive zap out of yeah. your sprint because uh, 180 k. Two minutes, right? Two minutes to recover. And he doesn't need to do that. Ewart needs to do that. Scotty Bowden needs to do that. Cam Myers looking like he doesn't want to do it. He's backing himself in for a, a gallop. <laughs> is he laying off? He's like, oh, is that Marco coming back? That's Marco coming back. Marco's going to go. Marco back. might be laying off. Marco might <laughs> sniff out a victory again. Yeah. Maybe Kel doesn't back his sprint against Nick White. Maybe. Marco's going to go. This isn't bad for, for Kel. Look at Derbo just winds it up and Except, spin that back yeah. very easily. Uh, this is setting up for a Cam Meyer flying 1,000 metre run. Right? Isn't it just... Marco, doesn't need, Marco needs a 20% gradient, not a downhill <laughs> yeah. to move. Yep, Kel's just Kel's just, Kel's just eyeballing Maya. This is this is this is the Here move, isn't it? Just to come from the back, whoosh. Go on, son. Everyone to look up. Man, Durbridge, he must have got a lot of faith in Cam Maya to finish this yeah. off. Nick White set up perfectly, but I think yeah, it's all about Kel, isn't it, at the moment? Or he's he's going early. Kel's gone from six to five hundred. What's he doing? <laughs> oh my god! He's won. He's got a gap. He's got to win in the seat. Unless Cam Meyer comes from the back. <laughs> Is he blowing oh, up? Boy. He's blowing up. Oh no! He's gone too early. Scotty Bowden. Oh my god! Cam Meyer my one again. <laughs> no! Yeah. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> this is going to be the strangest finish ever I've ever seen. It was the strangest oh. race of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Minutes ago, we we're thinking, oh, what a what a bike exchange going to be doing in the debrief. They're going to be feeling sorry for themselves. They're going to be cracking oh. champagne in about ten minutes' time. That was the most ridiculous finale. Kel's going to be kicking himself. I think he's cost himself. There. Big time. He butchered that so hard. Big time. I mean, seventeen hundred like meters he went, and then six hundred meters. And and the gap that he got showed how quick he was. Look at these two. Look at these two, the Bunyong specialists. Yeah. Durbridge and Meyer. That is craft. That's aren't craftsmanship. We, aren't, I, aren't we looking like dickheads? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't take that. Uh, there's no way. That's, that's, that's the way Bike Exchange drew that up. That, 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 holy shit, how do we still win that? That doesn't make any sense. 